The so-called conservative media, much of which runs interference for President Trump, and I might say I just don't run interference. I try to represent the interests of the president as well as the American people. And that's why I have to be candid. That's why sometimes I have to be right in your face, because right now the American people are being deceived about the efforts to quell and deal with the violence in the cities that have resulted in burning, in looting, in maiming, and even killing by radical leftists who are trying to divide this country, much of whom I believe are supported by overseas adversarial powers like communist China, Russia, and Iran. Now, the sham that's being perpetrated just in the last 24 hours, because the president really doesn't want to do anything here, and there's an old adage, when you get up on the dance floor, either you dance or you sit down. Listen to this. When you get up on the dance floor, either you dance or you sit down. You can't be a little bit pregnant. That's another phrase. I can go on and on and on. Let me tell you. But to simply send federal agents, if in fact that happened, to Seattle or Portland or Chicago or any other major city, including my birthplace of Philadelphia, that's not enough. That's just poking, okay? If you're going to do the job, you do the job. We don't know that these federal agents arrested anyone. I can assure you, although the left is propagating this falsehood, no one has been taken off the streets and put in prison or anything else, okay? So don't take the Kool-Aid. Don't take the Kool-Aid from Hannity. Don't take the Kool-Aid from Rush. And I like Rush, I might add. Rush's IQ is about 70 points higher than Hannity. And we owe him a great debt of gratitude over the years. But he still runs interference. And he wants you to believe that Trump is really doing something substantial. Well, he's not. And the president needs to be told by his supporters, people who want him to succeed, like yours truly, that he needs to either, you know what, or get off the pot. Okay, because that's where he is right now on the pot. And these are people who he has termed domestic terrorists. They're likely some international terrorists mixed in as well. Like I said, financed from Iran and Hezbollah, and Hamas. These people operate in our country. Ask Ilham Omar, ask Rashida Tlaib. They know who they are because these are their supporters and they support them. So consequently, that's my message for today. And my message for today is go to freedomwatchusa.org and join our Justice League in a subpart of that called the New American Militia, which we just started. It's peaceful and legal. We need to use our Second Amendment rights. We need to get ready for self-defense. These barbarians are not at our gates. They're inside of our gates right now. And that's the problem. And that's the threat. Just a few weeks ago, as I've said before, in the neighborhoods of Beverly Hills, if you can believe that, as I predicted, these animals, and that's the correct word for them, animals, were there with T-shirts advertising eat the rich. That means kill the rich. It's not a joke. It's not Jeffrey Dormer. It's the Bolshevik Revolution all over again. Kill the rich. And it will not be too long till these barbarians' animals will be coming to your hometown, demanding your house, demanding your car, taking everything away from you and your kids, and you'll be fortunate if they don't kill your entire family. And I'm not joking, because we are in a serious revolution. And when you turn on Fox News in particular, all you get is lukewarm pablum, like you're some kind of infant. You know, I'm watching Matt Schlapp this morning. I call him Matt Schlock, okay, a Republican lobbyist, trying to have it both ways, you know, pandering. Well, at Freedom Watch, we don't pander. We just brought a lawsuit yesterday for Philadelphia cops primarily white cops, that have been discriminated against. While they didn't do anything, their social media accounts were hacked by a group likely funded by George Soros. Of course, the DA in in Philadelphia was funded by Soros. Larry Krasner, just an evil, evil person like Soros, a self-hating Jew. And I'm Jewish myself, so I don't mean that in an anti-Semitic sense. But the Jewish left is a threat, along with radical Muslims, radical radicals of every variety, blacks, radical feminists, radical atheists, they all want to tear down the country because they want to fashion it in their own image, Bolshevik style. Well, we brought a lawsuit, and it just so happens that if you're an African-American female cop, you can send out an email or a tweet saying that white people shouldn't bother wearing masks. They should just wear hoods like the Ku Klux Klan. Nothing happens to them, but my clients got fired. Now, interestingly enough, except for WorldNet Daily, 
not one publication, not even in the leftist city of Philadelphia, published anything about this very important case, because there can be racism against white people as there is racism against blacks and others. We're all equal in this country. We all deserve to be respected and treated the same under our constitution. And that's what we do at Freedom Watch. We call it like it is. We take hard actions. We don't worry about the perception. No perception. Action instead of words, Mr. President. The American people are tired of words, and we're not going to listen to your enablers who claim that you're doing something here because you're not doing anything here, nothing really strong other than words. And that's my message today. And if you want to be reelected, get into high gear because your supporters will abandon you if you don't take action. And I want to see you succeed, and so do those supporters. So go to freedomwatchusa.org, sign up for our Justice League, sign up for the New American Militia, defensive, self-defense. We have a right under our Second Amendment to bear arms, and to commission militias. We must do it now because neither our president nor our government are protecting us. And that was the reason for the Second Amendment. In those days, we had King George III. Now we have a government that is inert or working against us. God bless you. God bless the American people. God save you. Sign up for our COVID COVID class action lawsuit. See if you qualify in our other hard-hitting cases. Share this on iTunes, Spotify, Roku, Amazon Fire, the new equivalent of Twitter, Parlay, Twitter itself, Facebook. Share it far and wide. Get the clarion call out. Step up to the plate. Save your country as our founding fathers created a new country, as one nation under God, with liberty and justice for all, including white people. God bless you, and God save America. Thank you for listening to me. 